what's going on everybody welcome back to another video so operation amber sky this live event has set into motion a new movement in which sentinel is playing an integral part in the story something that we certainly haven't seen thus far with walker dead trey stone killed the strategist captured and the main leadership dismantled sentinel and the wolves are left on the island of aroa with no real direction or purpose but that all seems to change with Operation Amber Sky. Let's first take a look at Freddy Porter, a former MI6 operative who's on a row as one of many new individuals looking into the poison Amber Sky. As a mercenary, he has no allegiance to anyone and will go where the money is. His knowledge of security systems can mean we can possibly expect an extremely locked down Moa Island if he was to have any part of what's going on within the Breakpoint storyline in year two. Now, captured, we might get some first-hand knowledge as to what he was up to and who he was working for. Then there's Miss Tanaka, another agent of death, looking to purchase Amber Sky for her own agenda. This leaves us with more confusion than anything, because unlike Freddy Porter, we did not capture Miss Tanaka. We only know that she's looking to involve herself with terrorist activities within her country of Japan, as she mentions gassing the city of Osaka. However, our biggest leads as to why we will see Sentinel, and quite possibly the Wolves, splinter off into a new faction is due to an agent whose call sign is the General. We come upon the information for the General via an unknown subject whose purchase of Amber Sky leaves us with intel that the general will be most happy with the business dealings that have gone down on the island. Although Sentinel, a PMC, now after Amber Sky, have taken their dealings international, they've gone rogue, and are at the point where they can be considered a mercenary faction, they're using Amber Sky as a means of making money, or perhaps there's a power struggle ensuing within their ranks behind the scenes. The general is known to have an uncanny ability to draw people to his cause with blind devotion. And therein lies the biggest clue we get as players during Amber Sky. As to where year two might take us, the general looking to expand his power and quite possibly looking for more than just Amber Sky when finding out what's on Aroa or possibly already knows the technology therein will set up shop on Moa Island with the help of certain Sentinel soldiers and possibly wolves. This new faction will control Moa Island and bring upon a new faction to fight for the players in year two. I believe we will see these ex-Sentinel soldiers wearing camel fatigues, night vision goggles, and they will be more in line with what Ghost Recon players are looking for when fighting a foe. Gone will be the generic enemies of Sentinel on Aroa with t-shirts and jeans. Now, of course, Aroa will remain Aroa, but with this narrative, Ubisoft allows themselves to create an entire new looking area and remove the limitations that they have with Sentinel as a PMC and scale building models as well. They will be able to create something new and fresh for year two for their player base on the island with this new narrative. I would look towards this general figure as a main culprit and foe in the upcoming year 2 DLC and be on the lookout for the soldiers on this island to have more of a nitty gritty look to them as Ubisoft will abandon their original ideas for Breakpoint and bring the franchise more in line with what they know their player base wants. So with that being said, what do you all think? What are the possibilities of year 2 for Breakpoint? What do you think will happen with the storyline with what we know so far? Will Moa Island be a fresh new take for Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Or do you think we'll get more of the same? Comment down below and let me know your ideas. That's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.